Welcome to the introductory mathematics uh, for AI, the first uh, class. Before we uh, start, I will introduce uh, what we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, in this week. Okay. Mm -hmm. The basic mathematics for AI is, uh, uh, will be the first part that we're gonna start. That include the function, graph, and solutions of equations. Uh, before we start, uh, yeah, I, I introduce uh, uh, some story. Artificial intelligence uh, came nearby mm -hmm, to our lives every day. For example, we can think of Netflix, Amazon's product recommendation system, and AI voice assistant, uh, and AlphaGo master, who won all the best Go players and Neon and Bali, which was first introduced at CES 2020. Besides, voice recognition and face recognition and self-driving car, the, the understanding and generation of natural language are all related to AI. Soon, artificial intelligence Lovett will be working for humans in factories, laws, and homes. As a result, humans may not have to go to work and lose their jobs. We need to understand the basic principles of what artificial intelligence is and how it works. Okay. Yeah, we uh, should uh, understand that artificial intelligence is not magic. AI is based on algorithms that operate using data and processing power. Yeah, you will learn eigenvalue, eigenvector, uh, diagonalization of matrices, singular value decomposition, and principal component analysis, local extreme points, and counting techniques, and probability distribution, and covariance matrix. Uh, in math and stat subject, and some coding um, using Python language and R language. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. these are the contents that we're gonna cover in this uh, semester. In first chapter, yeah, we will learn how to find the, the solution of equations mm -hmm. numerically, and. Uh, in second chapter, artificial intelligence and matrix, then we will define vectors and matrix and tensors, then uh, classification of data and inner product and least scale solution, then singular value decompositions. In part three, uh, AI and optimal solution, and we will learn how to find the uh, maximum and minimum and the gradient decent method. Uh -huh. In part 4, AI and statistics, yeah, we will learn Bayesian theorem and expectation, variance, and covariance, and standard deviation, and covariance matrix. In the last chapter, yeah, we will learn uh, with all those previous knowledges to understand the principal component analysis and uh, dimension reduction of data and back propagation mm, algorithms mm, that learns uh, machine learning and these are what we're going to learn and this map shows how mathematics is related uh, to mathematics the roadmap of mathematics for deep learning mm, these are the graph of it, and calculus, and linear algebra, and multivariable calculus, and statistics, and probability, and neural networks are all well connected. And he, so in this course, we will learn uh, linear algebra, and calculus, and uh, statistics, and some combinatorics. And what is the artificial intelligence? 
Uh, I wrote a series of articles uh, for about one and a half years for Mass uh, that you can down, you can take a look on those content from this web address. Artificial intelligence now cooks and washes dishes for us, it gives answers to questions, and takes care of our schedule. And we now need to understand AI and how it works. So we set the goal of this course to learn and practice the contents of linear algebra, calculus, and statistics, particularly singularity decomposition and gradient descent method in principal component analysis and ANN and uh, back uh, propagation that are needed to understand artificial intelligence. Okay, mm -hmm. there are many examples of AI these days. Mm -hmm. uh, here's one example. AI works for operational process of purchasing system. Suppose there's a record of the books we have purchased uh, so far. In that case, AI selects people uh, with a similar purchasing history to us. Checks out the book that others also bought recently. And books that you haven't bought yet, then recommend a book by email or social network to you. AI also works for many marriage uh, brocade, brocade uh, firms. And uh, AI use deep learning algorithm and neural network that use several mathematical concepts that we're gonna learn. The handwritten number recognition system using MNIST dataset, which will be covered in uh, the uh, chapter five, explains recognizing that a given letter from uh, the data is a number close to seven, and the code that implements the artificial neural network to recognize which number this handwritten letter is close to. And using the given code, AI increase the accuracy of the neural network by changing the number of data, layer, and nodes. Okay. And this system, mm, has a dramatic changes on the post office uh, system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we in uh, we will see what makes artificial intelligence works uh, by studying um, this course in this semester. Yeah, welcome to the introductory mathematics for artificial intelligence. Okay, now here's the preview. In this first week, yeah, on functions, graph, and uh, solutions of equations, yeah, we will cover the function and its graph, and the polynomial, and rational, and tri trigonometric, and exponential functions, as well as logarithmic functions. Then, yeah, we will learn how to find the solution of the equations that involve all of these uh, problems. Mm -hmm. okay. Those course uh, content is covered uh -huh, uh, by the textbook as well as uh, all the content uh, was saved in this website. Let's take a look. Okay, on this website uh, that I made for you, yeah, you will have the uh, most of the content uh, of our textbook. Yeah. This book was written uh, by myself with uh, the co-authors. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Korean version can be found in this address. And these are the contents. And the preface. Mm -hmm. And I explained what is uh, artificial intelligence and some history can be found in here. In chapter one, part one, basic mathematics for 
AI. Yeah, here is the sections. Mm -hmm. And here is the homework that you may have to do mm -hmm. uh, Why you go through uh, this textbook. Mm -hmm. Now, what I asked you is, the, is this. After solving mm, some problems uh, that the textbook suggests you to do, please share a brief uh, self-introduction and motivation for taking this course and the summary or practice or question or answer uh, in Q&A uh, board uh, uh, regularly uh, at least uh, two, three uh, times a week. Questions or answers. And then part two deals with AI and matrix. Here we will learn the matrix the classification of data and matrix decomposition, including singular value decomposition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a least square solution uh, will be found in part two. Then yeah, we will learn AI and optimal solution in part three. Mainly on uh, calculus, uh, and we will learn how to find the derivatives of, sing of a single variable function and uh, the multi variable functions as well, which is called uh, the gradient. And using the derivatives, uh, yeah, we can find the maximum and minimum. And with this concept, yeah, we will cover the gradient decent method that you can find uh, in here. Mm -hmm. And the code will be given on most of the problems in the textbook to really practice it. And that will give you the answers. And if you, if you change the problems, then uh, all you have to do is change some uh, functions or conditions uh, to find the, the new answer for the new problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, in part four, we will deal with the AI and statistics. Here, uh, we will cover the basic concept of statistics, including covariance and covariance matrix. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here the computations uh, can be done with the code and you can practice uh, this code in here mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. You can copy those then you can uh, practice uh, to find the interpretation and variation and standard variation. Here also, yeah, you can practice uh, the how to draw the graph and how to find the integral uh, that shows that tells the area of uh, this interval. Also, you can draw the graph of that function, which is the uh, plane in a three-dimensional space. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we can draw the graph of two-dimensional, uh, two uh, variable functions uh, that shows the local maximums and local minimums. Mm -hmm. You can also, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, uh, these addresses that uh, you will do uh, many things. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. So, so we will cover this uh, for each weeks mm -hmm. for the next fourteen weeks. And here is the uh, web address that you can uh, practice uh, the content. And also, yeah, here is the uh, lab uh, that you can practice uh, uh, the Python uh, languages and R languages and also the yeah, others uh, for the uh, R language practice room and Python language practice room on here. Yeah, you will see. What it is, mm -hmm. and the uh, 
and these are the uh, things. Yeah. We're going to learn in the first week uh, how to solve the uh, equations, how to find the solution of the equation. That will be used to find the, the eigenvalues of a matrix and also the singular values of a matrix. And you will learn how to learn uh, how to find the solution of a system of equations. And from here, yeah, we will uh, be able to uh, find the uh, eigenvectors of a given matrix and also the singular vector of a given matrix. Uh, with this knowledge, then singular value decomposition uh, will be understood for uh, you. Then this SPD will be used for the dimension reduction of the given data, which is the uh, essential part of the machine learning. And these are the, the contents of our textbook and also the practice labs are in here. Mm -hmm. I will show uh, one, mm, uh, one of the week one first. Yes, uh, on week one, if you go to the first week content, then yeah, we will learn the, what, what, what the definition of functions and how to draw the graph of it. And for example, for the polynomial functions, we will define it, then we will see how to draw the graph of this third degree polynomial. Mm -hmm. Like this. If we change the degree as 4, then we will have a polynomial of degree 4 uh, like this. If we give uh, more space, uh, then we will have a uh, view of the uh, better view of the graph of those uh, polynomials. And then we will learn how to draw the graph of the rational function after we define it mm -hmm. and trigonometric functions and uh, exponential and logarithmic functions. Then we will learn how to uh, draw many other uh, functions, uh, including the composite function of uh, the above, and any of the, the functions that we have learned uh, from all year, uh, from elementary to the high school and the college years. With this knowledge, we will learn how to solve the equations, how to find the solution of equations. And this command, solve the polynomial, gives us the solutions. Mm -hmm. And uh, this code, yeah, so the, uh, this code really helps uh, to find the solution. But it, it uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, you those uh, computer code uh, gives you some output which is not the solution that you uh, want. In that case, you need to uh, utilize the mathematical knowledge uh, to modify uh, the code to get the answer that you like to have. So we will learn um, such uh, techniques. And for example, yeah, for this, in this case, uh, yeah, we, at least we can draw the graph of it. We can draw the, then we know uh, the, the solution for this equation is uh, this point and that point. Yeah? That can be found as these uh, numbers. Uh, and, uh, but sometimes uh, it may not be an integer number like this. In that case, in that case, yeah, we, we, uh, such like this, uh, the rational numbers or uh, irrational numbers, sometimes it can be even a transcendental numbers. So in that case, uh, yeah, we will draw the graph of it, then we know the solution is 
here and here, not like this ugly form. Then we can magnify this graph, then we will find the approximated solution of those equations. These are the uh, things that we're going to learn uh, in chapter, uh, in the first week, and first chapter one. Okay? And that's what we will continue uh, in the first week. Okay, welcome again. And, and uh, yeah, and let's get started. Okay. Thanks.